Hey everybody, welcome back to Jeeping Around. Today we're out the Jeeps and Ranches ride at Winrock Park. We're going to be doing Trail 16, the Badge of Honor Trail. We had about 12 Jeeps go with us. It was a very messy day up there, so y'all stay tuned. Thanks for watching. So this is the first hill climb you come to on Trail 16. This Jeep struggled a little bit with it, just getting going here. I believe they had a TJ in front of them that was having some issues. But they eventually get it going, get up the hill. Getting a little guidance there from Fury JK. And then they send it, get up, no issues. So this is Fury JK. He's probably won the most built Jeeps that we had go with us. He's got a 5.3 motor front and rear lockers, 40s, and bead locks. He goes for the hard line here, but due to it being so wet, I think he couldn't get where he wanted to be on it. But he ends up making this hill look like a cakewalk. This TJ right here was one of the smaller Jeeps we had with us. I believe he was on 33s. Had a little bit of trouble, but he still took the hard line. Gotta give him props for that. He struggles a little bit right here, but he eventually gets it lined up. Gets almost all the way up the hill, and then ends up having to winch himself the rest of the way. I know it would break my heart if I made it that far. I know it broke his, but good job. So now it's my turn to come up the hill. I get about a quarter of the way up, hit a really wet spot, get my rear tire hung up on a rock, front's hung up on a rock. I don't have lockers, but I am on 37s. Like I said, it's super slick going up this hill. I get past this point and get to the next rock right here. And the first time I came up it, my JL knocked into neutral and knocked me back down. Right here, I finally get past it, but on the wrong line. <clears throat> so I readjust, come around, and climb the rest of the way up there. So this JK right here was having some issues trying to get up right here. 
I uh, believe their transfer case was going out. Uh, when we got to the hard spot on Trail 16, we could hear it grinding going on in it. Uh, I've already passed them. <clears throat> I was in front of them at this point. Uh, you'll see me on the hill here in a second. Uh, but yeah, everybody after them makes it up. So this is the hard spot on the stair steps there on trail 16. Uh, we've already had a couple Jeeps winch up the easier, supposedly easier side. <clears throat> uh, this JK right here was going for the hard side. He's on 40s, he's got lockers and he's struggling with it. So I knew without lockers, as wet as it was, I probably wasn't gonna make it up. He almost gets it right here and this ends up having to winch up. I felt bad for him, me and him talked about it and we were just supposed to see. So I'm going on the bypass here and it was just super slick. Uh, the, as you can see, I'm just spinning. I get right here, get bumped over onto a rock, bottomed out on it. This is after the hard spot on 16. There's two ways up. This was the heart, I would say the harder of the two. Uh, this is kind of a flat faced rock. And if you don't have lockers, it's you're probably gonna have to winch up it. This is the bypass. I believe this Jeep had lockers and they made it up uh, all the way to the top before I believe they winched up the last little bit. There's a spot where it kicks you up on the left side, on the driver's side, it kicks up. I believe they winched just to be safe. This poor Rubicon right here, if you look at its fender in the rear, it's gone after this. Better. 
uh, got more wheel speed up. I ended up winching up. Hold up on that winch, pulling in. I had to winch from two points right here. Uh, one right here and then a little farther up where that uh, tree was hanging over. This is coming out of Trail 16. This is where you're coming on to G1. Uh, there's just two rocks right beside each other. Stay to the passenger side, you'll make it every time. Rubicon hits it, struggles a little bit, but eventually gets over it. We had a great time at One Rock with the Jeeps and Wrenches crew. I had to use my winch more than I wanted to, but nothing but not having lockers in it, being wet, made the trail more difficult. I do see lockers in our near future. With that being said, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. Comment down below lockers if you made it this far in the video. Thank you for watching guys. Have a great one. I mean, I get it. I, I get it.